second, 600 million tons of hydrogen are transformed into 595 million, 500,000 tons of helium, plus the extraordinary amount of power equal to 5 million years of production of the total energy produced by men on Earth. We are now pushing mankind's technology to reproduce such extraordinary fusion reaction on the heart inside a machine. The toroidal field coils can be described as the magnets of all magnets that will operate in the ITER machine. These are the ones that will confine the super-hot plasma within their powerful magnetic field. They are among the largest components of the ITER machine. The TF coil manufacturing starts with the receipt of the large superconductive magnets called a winding pack. Weighing 120 tons and measuring 9 by 16 meters. A full dimensional inspection is performed by the most advanced technologies. DC and AC electrical tests and a pressure test of the cooling channel are performed before moving the winding pack in a large vacuum vessel for testing. A leak test at 30 bar is done before starting the cool down for testing the magnet in cryogenic conditions. The TF coil's armor is composed of four giant stainless steel parts called coil cases. The coil cases are placed in a temperature controlled area for testing. A full dimensional inspection is performed by laser tracker, scanning and photogrammetry. The cooling circuits are leak tested by helium and pressurized at 30 bar. Once the tests are overtaken, the insertion process can start. Two very large and complex machines were designed and manufactured by Cynic. Over 1,200 tons of concrete and 650 tons of steel were stacked to withstand the loads of the TF coils. 72 axes fully electrically managed move the heavy TF coils with an impressive accuracy of 0.1 millimeter. The winding pack is kept in position by special G10 sliding pads machined by reverse engineering. The coil cases are placed on their movable lifters and slowly approach together to hoist inside the winding pack. Experts constantly monitor the positions, the forces and the torques on each component to guarantee a perfect fitting between coil cases and the winding pack. The assembly rig is the key machine for the TF coils. A combination of manual and robotized hot wire narrow gap TIG technologies are carried out to complete over 80 meters of welding with a thickness of up to 125 millimeters with welding processes qualified at 4K and inspected by sophisticated UT phased array pushed to the limits of the psychic. Welding deformations are constantly monitored by laser tracker and photogrammetry. The gap between the winding pack and the coil cases is filled by special resin. The final machining of the TF coil is done by one of the largest milling machines installed in Europe. The machine is installed in a temperature controlled area. Special machining heads have been designed on purpose to allow machining of the TF coils with tolerances on the amplitude of cents of millimeters. Both sides of the TF coils have to be machined and a flipping of the TF coil is foreseen in the middle of the machining cycle. The turnover of the TF coil is an impressive operation done by movable lifters with a lifting capacity of over 600 tons. The TF coil is then ready for final testing before shipping to the ITER site. Once machined, all the tests are carried out for the last time. Full dimensional inspection, electrical tests, pressure and leak tests of the cooling circuits. 
After one month, the TF coil reaches site and it is ready for the final installation in the ITER machine.